Hey everybody, Player Chaos here once more with Let's Play Victoria 2 as the Americans. In the last part, we got in, we were carrying on the Second Great War with the occupation of the UK being finished. Um, they're not going to peace out anytime soon because, well, we're not occupying all of them apparently. You know, it's not enough to occupy them entirely. You've got to occupy their colonies as well, apparently. Because, you know, that's a thing as well. But regardless, uh, we're actually at a point where the war is kind of in our favour. Slightly. I mean, how we, you know. The war's 32% in our favour. If we want to look at peace, it's 32. Uh, no one else will actually peace out. Uh, we actually have the war in our favour. Germany has nothing left. Most of our power is coming from me, of course, would be. And it's just... I'm just looking over here so I get these upgraded if I can. And it's actually turning into one of those things. We've got another great battle here. The Battle of Canterbury, which is as big as ever. I think we've got one though. I need to keep and I need to keep looking around the Empire to try and find what's going on. Because it's turning into a bit of a mess. You guys head to there. I'm all over the place right now, jeez. But we've actually got tanks moving out now, so the war is going to turn our favour. When we get this war over, we'll modernise our army, we'll modernise our navy, and we'll show the world that you don't mess with the Americans. And Italy is, losing, is beating Brazil. That's a transport division leaving. That's a battle fleet. We're going to use you guys. You're going to go and assist down here. <sighs> Dude, this friggin' war is taking quite a lot out of me. Never mind the, um, the nation. There's been so much going on that I wouldn't believe would happen. And it's... I keep saying it, this is why I love games like this. You get, like, the stuff that you don't think would happen just every moment. I, I freaking love it. I mean, look, this battle is over 600k big. Now, it's only was bigger than that, but you know. And... <laughs> yeah, it's... It, it's one of those things where I love it, and it's also one of the things where I hate it because the the size of this war can, these wars can get, and you've got to look over an entire empire. It's awesome, and it's also annoying at the same time, if that makes sense. Also, the soundtrack is still as amazing as ever. I need to go and see Persia, Revenge. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of what I could do. Why isn't. Can I take control of your units? Uh, command you? I've got, to be a, you've got to be a puppet of mine, okay. Well, by the end of this war, one of two things will happen. Um, oh, those are great, for one thing. The UK will fall out of the top eight. There is no question about that. It's already falling in ranks. We've occupied most of its industry. Its manpower and navy... Its navy is gone, apparently. Really? Its navy is gone. The French are going to suffer as well, and so are the Russians. The Italians, I am looking to beat as well. So, we're, have, we're looking at a point where four great powers are going to lose. Germany is on the edge. Oh my god, they're 18 from the world. They're going to lose great power status. That better not avoid the Great War. If it does, I'm going to be miffed. And... Fucking hell, this is... This is turn number 247. They're broken off to... Oh, that is cheap. Education efficiency, good. Well, the good news is they're breaking off, but is that going to work in our favour, or theirs? We got the South Pole! Yes! More prestige! <laughs> We're first in the world, sweet! Uh, let's go with... yeah. How have we not won this yet? We have 4,000! 2! 1! 0.6! There! Done! Stack wipe! <laughs> and these guys are probably going to suffer as well, because, you know, we've got like, quadruple their number. I need to keep looking over in Russia! Oh, shit! Uh, they have mountain defense, we have gas, crossing a river... Oh yeah, that's what it means, okay. What are you? Attack, defense, organization speed. Defense, morale. Channels aid. 
School of the Bayonets. Do we have any extra troops over here we can call in? We have three, a uh, one armored division. I'd be willing to pull that in. Yeah, mate, I need to. And we'll put in Canterbury as a defense. They win it. Are they winning again? Oh, we killed Beaton. Okay, Cambridge. <laughs> we got there before them. <laughs> It's like, oh hey dog, you know. Best bit is they're on the attack, so they have a penalty. And we're also dug in, apparently. Uh, gas is going on, so it must be the French who have the gas defence. There's a battle going on there. Can I risk... Okay, we'll split this fleet in two. And we're going to use this one to engage their sister ally. Hi, we have more ships than you. Battle Channel, Battle Chamber, Battle Channel, and the Battle of Cambridge. Uh, we are way over stack though. Leicester. So we're gonna cut you two out. Go to Brighton. Go to Ipswich. We need to be organised when this goes on. This is gonna be big when we get going. And the French are still annoying us in the colonies, which is drawing off troops we could be using up north. Go and kill the Italians while you're there. Uh, see just that. I could pull you up north if I wanted to. It's not really worth it. Aha! Oh, you're, you're a silly French man! Hello there! Holy crap, this guy's this army isn't balanced at all. Well, Darn is being... <laughs> Are you serious? Everyone's getting on this cheese. Everyone wants a sweet, on a slice of that sweet humble pie. Uh, yeah, it's military. I really shouldn't be going into military right now, to be fair, but it's too important to get a socialist in. Battle Leicester, we wiped some good. Okay. So, how are we going to play this? I want to bait them over again. Is, what's, is that the army? Tanks? Yes, you go there, you go there. Uh, engage these guys. We're not going to make it before the siege, are we? Are we going to make it? Are we going to make it? I think we're just going to make it. Oh, wait, they come over. Holy crap, 400... 400,000. No, don't... Oh, fuck. Lost time on this. Problem is, they're going to slow us down there from getting to the battle down south. And it's the battle down south we need to win. Um... Are we dug in? We have guests... Okay, it's the Italians that have it then. I'll stop living back and forth. I'm getting a headache in doing this. Uh, yeah, doing all of them. Uh, where's my army? There. Um. Oh damn it! Running out. Running out of brain power. Can't think. That's 75 seconds hanging on by the skin of its teeth. There's another dreadnought. There's more steam transports. Are you... your artillery? Have we got any more armies coming from... Um, yeah, a lot of oh, artillery, a lot of guards, tanks... You've got some of your in here. Okay, um... Okay, think it through. Just gotta stay calm and keep thinking. That's Portuguese. More than the Portuguese port. How cheap of you. The well, Japanese are going to have fun up there, so we're going to head down to... We're not at war with the Netherlands. I thought we were. 
Yeah, so why can't we? Oh, we can, okay. I'm amazed Japan actually made it over here. And I don't mean that sarcastic, I mean like... Um, I'm amazed they actually fought about joining the war. They're gonna get a lot out of this. <sighs> okay, decision time. Do I continue to commit over here or do I pull back? It's strong enough away from the front line. I'm gonna pull back to Korea. We're gonna win this battle then we're gonna head back to Korea. We, we can't win over here, we're going to have to push in through the other end. Right, you guys, get there as quick as you can. Oh god, we've got minus one, They've got, we've got equal generals, we're rolling higher, we're rolling equal. So we roll, we get a seven automatically, they get a three automatically. In essence we get an eight automatically, so they need to, they need to roll eight higher than us, so they need to roll eight or nine. We can do this. And they have an extra free bloody thousand there, what? Where are they getting these guys from? Let's look at the bonus. Are they all mobilized? Yes, Italy has 124,000. Sorry, France is bringing 95,000. Yeah, it's bringing 104. Most of the army's coming from Russia. How long is this battle's over? Um, well, that battle's gonna take a couple of years, to be fair. Nah, pull back. Just leg it. We could have won, but it's... It's not worth the casualties. Uh, leave you two there. Chongjin's gonna have to be upgraded quick. Uh, have we got any other armies that we're not using? Well, you're... Rebel hunting. Or were rebel hunting, anyway. That's Panama. Wish you could transport allied units. I think that would probably make it broken. Um, I think command the entire British Navy to get over there. <sighs> so, what, what, how are we. Show what was. 28%. It's Friesland, Ukraine. Well, they have. They want parry. They want, uh, they've got a couple more than we do. We have even numbers. And they need to roll eight higher than us. Oh well. If we do it right, we're breaking their back. Our tanks are still in there, aren't they? Yep. Do they have tanks? They do! Ooh, that changes things. Because I have some reactionaries in power. Are our stacks making it? Yeah, our stacks are going to make it. Yeah, you can have those back. We've drawn you far enough away anyway. Now we just need to dig in. There we go. Now we're cutting them down proper. Still, the casualties in this battle are huge. Oh, we can do a reform. <laughs> we're in the middle of a war, let's do a reform. Uh, 5.62, 318. Yeah, help her. <laughs> Not gonna argue about that one. Um, are we gonna the manpower after this to push in? That's the question. I might end up having to transport units around to the tip of Italy. Change the front a bit. Now, if I get troops, how are the rally points going? Aren't we recruiting? Why aren't we? Canned food. We get first dibs in the market, so canned food is consumer goods? No, military goods. Yeah, we need a bit more than that. So I find the price of canned foods up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um put the Tax on the poor up, put the tax on the middle up, put the tax on the rich up slightly. Okay, come on. How are we going to beat 332,000? 
be fair, different in quality. I could probably kick Persia out if I could just get round the Cape. I just get one invasion on them, I can kick them out of the war. And Slash we've gone bankrupt, that's a perfect time for that. Japan has rebels. Yeah, they're dealing with them. The police state, nice. <laughs> Chapter three stack on there. <laughs> yeah, try going out now, UK. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> we just gain troops. No, that's just pure UK. <laughs> we heard you want the UK. We heard you want US, so we got more US troops here for you. They're still your US troops. If I wanted to, I could call in um Reserves. Do a draft. Probably because of low on food. Hmm. Getting so dang close. I could, I could do it if we just break through the back of um, France. Break through their tail. And somehow actually. Uh, oh, because. Yeah. Uh, you and you are staying behind. Go there. That fort is being upgraded as we speak. <sighs> this game really risky. This battle is going to take years to resolve, isn't it? Well, they can't flee. The, the thing is, I don't get why they're not taking... Shit. That was transporting troops. What's it? No, it's going back for train. Uh Split you in half. And you are staying there. Oh, we won the Battle of Coast of Britain. They're trying to slow us down again. Vladivostok is being occupied. We're taking out the transport at least, but they're going to lose more. Alexander Andrews. School of Defense, really? Oh god, that looks painful. Niz is being occupied. We're not doing any research. Why wasn't I looking? Do research. Okay, what do I need, what do I need, what do I need? To be fair, that wouldn't be that bad. Attention to the app. We're losing transports. Come on. They're dreadnoughts, no one's being hurt so damn hard to kill. Do we have any dreadnoughts free? Probably if I cut you in half, I could send them some reinforcements. But it's getting dangerously close to a mark I don't want to be at. Why have I got a battlefleet down here? Mark to Trent there. Uh, never mind. The Russians are over here, jeez. Come on, you can't take much more of this, can you? Get out! Do you have gas defense? Yes! And you dug in. Oh god. Come on, we're beaten worse. We have better tech, we have artillery. We aren't balanced, but we have artillery. I need to get more of his troops over to the colony. Grab the dreadnoughts. You're going to blockade here. Uh, we're going to grab the transport fleet. You're going to pick up guys from Korea. Yeah, he's falling back. He doesn't want any of this. How is the battle still going? <laughs> Wouldn't they know the lot they're dying yet? Are the lines that big in Canterbury? What's the war score like? 29%. 
So I think it's like he's doing well. <laughs> what the hell are we crewing? Apparently a lot around Yankee. I have no idea how that battle's still going. You're not balanced right, but we need the troops. Should we balance that by the time again anyway? No, it won't be. <laughs> but we, they're nearly out of artillery. They've got a ton of infantry, they've got barely any cavalry left. We've got a lot more of each. That's what I should be doing with those bastards. Okay, get out. Transport division, transport division. Really wish I could make this bigger. Transport fleet. Okay, uh, go to. De Cam? I can't even say that. The sieging. Good, let's go buy it some time. Yeah, I never lost this one. Current, good. Ah, god. Nope. That's not going well. Dug in on defense, they've got a command that we do, we roll the zero. Or two zeros in a row. They ain't got rid of our digging. Where's that transport division? They're not gonna make it in time. Um head to sir. Uh, probably the most defensible point we can get over here. I need to find a way through this. Also, hey, this battle's still going. They're down to 99, 97. Oh, yeah, take it now, but you don't keep it. <sighs> How are we doing? <laughs> still giving us bloody artillery. Oh, hey, we've got more infantry and cork. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> cork! Uh, Alright, you guys need to. More up in Limerick. Uh, transport. You took a. You're not a transport division. Sweet. Oh, you love Balfour, aren't you? You're the transports? No. Do the transports still here? Must have got it. I thought that had been blown up. You still healthy? Good enough. I want to try and put pressure on Italy, so when we've resolved this one, I'm going to flip around to Sicily. And, come on, we nearly got this resolved, come on. So oh. close to the end. We've got nine, holy crap. We got reinforcements over here. They haven't arrived yet. Can't get enough of here. Zanzibar straight, they're around Zanzibar. Good, they're getting there. Don't. Oh, fuck it, really. Perfect time to go bankrupt, don't Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> France Metallurgy is done, sweet. That's gonna help us out, because we're gonna get more soldiers than that. Uh, what do we need? What do we need? Probably. Mm, this is gonna make us faster. No, does that make us faster? It's all organization from here. Hello, <laughs> we bought friends. Do you like to meet them? We can engage in the channel by an Italian fleet. Oh my god, we wiped them in Canterbury. <laughs> Whoa, did. Zing Zhang came all the way over here just to beat us. <laughs> just to try and kick up 98.4 war score. Please. Nowhere near. <laughs> Nowhere near. If I cut it down to that, if I cut it down to that, if I cut it down to this, it matters at 20. They want capitulation. Okay. All right, we're gonna spread you guys out just so you can heal up. <sighs> I 
we are going to start shipping out to uh, it the Italian Peninsula. <sighs> okay, what's Italy got anyway? Italy has commerce raiders and steam transports. Yeah, you're not going to stand a chance. We have battleships and cruisers. You expect to win with that? No, not going to happen. Not in your dreams. Too nice. Yeah, that, that was going to happen either way. Right, let's try and put pressure on the Italians. Let's go to the Bay of Naples. I'll try and get us a. Actually, staging point would be good. Gibraltar. First transport division is. Happy and Larry. Let's go back to. Blighty and pick up some guys. Uh, we want to pick up. Okay, if we're not going to let them back over, you guys. Just got to keep the fleets here. I am not letting them back over. We're getting a lot more recruits now. Why are you taking losses? Pure sieging. Go and assist. I'm going to let that turn into a rout. That's better. Okay, what have we got? Uh, leave Kentucky. Which is the fried chicken. Uh, we have 149 in Lagos. That is perfect. Just what we need. Head to the... Denmark. Oops. Nearly. Um, where can we enter? Not really a lot of places we can enter, is there? Get over here and get over to here. Colonial's gonna help us out a ton. I can't see how long this is this war's been going on, jeez. Whew. Sorry for running out of commentary, but it's it's kind of, oh need to use that focus. It's kind of been a long war. And uh, where do you come and say this? I don't know. How are the slaves here? It's in the slave state. Clerks, three point for uh, transfer doesn't need that many. California does. Why do they go to Texas then? Must have been higher at some point. Portugal's got back. We're gaining 112 people. Sorry, we gained 112k in the last few days. Alright, so we want to go one there, take you guys to Nizwa. There's a Russian army there. We're at War of the Netherlands, aren't we? That gives us the, that gives us the route. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect, that's what we're going to do. That's a railroad then, sweet. So we're going to siege Gibraltar, and when we take that, we're going to move on and try and take on our old friends, the Italians. I mean, they're over here, but there's no way they can sustain that for too long. Still, I feel sorry for Britain right now. I mean, what's keeping them in? Taxes, probably. <laughs> Fascism is really doing well. All right, I'm going to call it a party here, folks, because this is <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. Um. Next time on Let's Play Victoria 2, we're going to carry on the Great War. Um, yeah, Britain is... Yeah. <laughs> They're not fully occupied because they've still got India, but we've, we've pushed them to the limit. They're, the war's going in our favour. Really don't know, they really don't like that. Oh, well. Yeah, we're going to turn this war around. We're getting to that point. Um, it's just getting to the back door now. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.